Hey y'all. So I wanted to share a dream that I had last night. It was short, but terrible. Um, and the reason I'm sharing is because I feel like um, there was a very important message being conveyed in the dream. And that is to pray for these celebrities. Um, so I'll just get right into it. So I was in my mom's living room and I was, the, the BET channel was on the TV and it introduced a song by Beyonce and Jay-Z, never heard it before. But, uh, so the song started playing and I saw them both you know, it was, you know, it looked like a, a, a normal music video um, that I've seen from them before. <sighs> um, but the scene was like switching from them two together in the same scene to uh, Beyonce sitting in a bus. Well, it went from... It went from what looked like them sitting in a Jeep or some kind of vehicle, them as in Beyonce and a bunch of other beautiful looking, you know, model, video model looking women. Um, and um, it went from that scene to Beyonce sitting in the bus and it kind of went back and forth, I think. I had this dream this morning and it's like almost six o'clock. So anyway, when she was sitting in the Jeep, I can't really, uh, like she looked beautiful. Like she looked more beautiful than I've ever seen her look before. Even when she was like just coming out, you know, um, as a solo artist and she had really ramped up her sex appeal and I mean she I guess she had always had it but she kind of pushed the envelope I think a little bit once she became a solo artist she looked better than she looked when she came out as a solo artist when she was young and you know coming into her sexiness and sexuality as a as a um you know, as a part of her f persona with Sasha Fierce and all that. Like, she looked really good. And when she was sitting in this Jeep, I saw Michelle sitting right there uh, beside her, along with a bunch of the other women that were surrounding them. But everybody else was in sync. Like, everybody else was, like, mouthing the words to the song, except for Michelle. Michelle looked out of place. She looked good, too. Like, she looked really good. Um... But she looked like she was just out of place. Everybody else was rapping along to the lyrics, except for her. It looked like she didn't know the words. Thought that was odd. But so, yeah, it goes from that scene to everybody sitting on a bus. You know, bump into her music, I think. And this happened in the blink of an eye. Like, it goes from her... And Michelle sitting in this Jeep along with a bunch of other beautiful women to, you know, I believe it was her and a bunch of other people, her as in Beyonce, and a bunch of other people sitting on this bus. Maybe even Jay-Z was on it. I, don't, I can't remember everything. <laughs> but as the, swing is, as the scene is switching, their music is still playing. Like, this is their music video. And within a blink of an eye, everybody on this bus, like the whole bus gets flipped upside down. Like they, they were in this terrible accident and I see everybody crash into the top of the bus as it flips and falls upside down. And it looked like everybody was in serious pain like they crashed onto their shoulders and back on this bus as it crashed upside down. And then it caught on fire. The bus caught on fire. And I witnessed everybody in this bus start to burn to death. 
and scream and pain and agony and it was so unexpected. It came so out of left field. I went from looking at these beautiful women and Beyonce looking beautiful. Like, I, I can't even really, she just looked good. Like she looked really good in the face. Like her face looked like younger than she is now, but like just more beautiful than I've ever seen her look before. Michelle too, sitting beside her. I've never seen them look that good before, but they looked amazing in this music video. And it goes from that scene to everybody on this bus bump into the music. And then a second later, they're all upside down. I'm, I'm witnessing them crash upside the whole bus and everybody on it crash upside down. And then they start to burn to death. I was so traumatized within the dream. And listen, this was so vivid. This was so, it was like it was actually happening. It was like I was actually watching this. I mean, I was just watching a music video, but the music video was so traumatizing. I cover my ears and I start to scream at the top of my lungs. I could feel the vibration. Like, you know, when you, when you scream at the top of your lungs, you can like, you feel the fear, you feel the, the, um, panic but you also feel the vibration like in your throat as you're screaming. Like you can feel, it felt so real. I cover my ears cause I don't wanna hear these people screaming as they're burning to death. I run in the other room. I run in my brother's room and I actually consider, <laughs> actually consider like trying to escape and jump out the window to get away from the screams. Like that's how traumatizing it was. Like I panicked and I just started flipping out. But then the thought came to me, oh no, I need to get that off of the TV right now. I, I, like I need to get that off of the TV because it's, it's sitting there playing whatever demonic stuff that just came up on the TV. I need to get that off of her TV. I need to turn it off. I need to change the channel. So I run back into the room and that scene is is done. Like I don't hear the screams, I don't see the fire, I don't I don't see the accident on the screen anymore and I and I turn the channel and then I wake up. And uh um my first thought when I woke up was uh dear lord Please do not allow for these music videos to get that demonic. Like, I pray against that in Jesus' name. Like, my first thought was, they're going to start doing stuff like that in the music industry. They're going to start putting traumatizing material in the music videos like that to traumatize their audience. They're going to they're gonna use music artists... I mean, they already use them to do terrible stuff like like to, to promote all kinds of immorality. They already do it. But my, my first thought was they're going to start using very popular music artists to put extremely horrible, traumatizing, violent, just deplorable content in their music videos so they can traumatize more people, more young people, and desensitize them to extreme violence. That was my first thought. My second thought was, what if that is the fate of everybody who rock with these music artists? Everybody that has anything to do with their music, everybody that helps them produce it, write it, listen to it i mean i don't i don't really know what to say about christians that have been hearing watching listening to their fellow christians brothers and sisters in christ tell them that these people are witches and warlocks 
I don't know what I could possibly say to convince them to stop listening to these people's music. I'm not about to tell nobody, oh, if you listen to so-and-so, you're going to hell. That may not necessarily be true. What I do know is you open yourself up to all kinds of whatever it is that they put in that music. They cast spells in it. They cat their cat when okay, when you speak, when we all speak, we all have power in our words. There's power in our words when we speak. And so when you're dealing with real live witches, they know the power in their words too, and they use it. They're casting spells in this music. And when they cast these spells, you become desensitized to the content of the music. And these people are not speaking wisdom. They're not speaking godly wisdom. It may sound good, but it's not godly wisdom. So if you, if you become extra susceptible to what they're saying, you want to do what they do, you want to live the life that they live, you're listening to what they have to say and you're, you're kind of forming your life around what it is that you're listening to from an ungodly person, you're putting yourself in danger. Because they're not on a godly path. And if you're moving how they move, you're, you're moving yourself onto an ungodly path, which is destruction, which is what I saw in that dream. Everybody bump into that music in the music video got turned upside down and started to burn to death that was sitting on that bus. It was just terrible. I, honestly, it was terrible. It was so vivid. It was so, it felt so real. Like it, like it was a vision. Even though, you know, I hear that visions aren't when you're actually in the dream, you're kind of, you're just looking, you're an onlooker. But it was, it was as if I was standing somewhere in time, actually witnessing that. It just, it felt so real. I've never screamed like that in a dream before. And I've seen terrible stuff. I've seen terrible things in dreams before. And we need to pray for these celebrities. You know, if you... If you're one of those people that just don't want to hear nothing about, oh, secular music is this and don't listen to that and you're just going to do whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. If you love these music artists that much, pray for them. Ask the Lord to show them where they are headed. Ask the Lord to have mercy on them. Ask the Lord to have mercy on you too and to show you what exactly it is about this music, about secular music and secular artists that is so bad. If you don't believe it, ask the Lord yourself, Lord, these people are claiming that secular music is just not good. You know, it's, it's dangerous to listen to it. What's dangerous about it? Tell me. See what he has to say about it. I wanted to share that because I don't know whether or not, I don't know where that's gonna go. I don't know if that means that they're gonna start making things worse, putting out even worse content in these music videos. And it's already demonic. I mean, everybody see how uh, Doja Cat is, is I mean, wow, she's pushing boundaries. Sam Smith pushing boundaries. What's his name? Lil Nas X pushing boundaries. I mean, they're just pushing the envelope and there's no telling how bad it can get. It can actually get that bad to where, I mean, we see people dying in music videos, but I have never seen nothing like that. I've never seen nothing that graphic.
I don't know. I just know we need to pray for these celebrities. And I put out a music, uh, not music video. I put out a video like this before a few years ago when I had that dream about Chris Brown and he was singing at one of his concerts and he had his right hand, he had a microphone in his right hand and he was singing, singing in it. And in the left, it was chained behind his back. And I was like, these celebrities, they need prayer, whether they know it or not, whether they know exactly what they're doing or not. They have no idea. I don't care what they think they know. They have no idea. A lot of them, or some of them, like, uh, what's his name? Lil Uzi likes to joke about how he's how he's on his way to hell and everybody listening to it, listening to his music is, is on the way with him. Uh, he might be right. But the fact that he thinks it's funny is proof that he has no idea. He has no idea. I mean, anyway. Pray for these celebrities. If you care about them, pray for them. That's it.